Good morning. Today we're going to talk about how to create digital portfolios. Digital portfolios are exemplars of your best work. And since it's digital, we're going to be using the website Google Drive. This will allow you to share your work with teachers, family, and friends. Now, you may ask why. Portfolios aid in long-term memory. It allows you to make connections from year to year. You can recall what you've learned before and build upon that prior knowledge. But most importantly, since it's a portfolio, we're only going to put our best work in there, the best of the best. This will allow you to take pride in your work. Let's begin. So since we're going to be using Google Drive, the first thing we have to do is log in. So that we have to go to Google.com. At the top right, you're going to see a blue sign-in button. We're going to click on that to log in. Now here at CMS, we're going to use our CMS Gaggle accounts to log in. Uh, if you're from another school district or you're just another person, you may have to create your own Google account. Everybody's uh, Google account has Google Drive a part of it. We're using the Google Ads for Education portion of that. But everybody who has a Google account can use Google Drive. In CMS, since we're using our Gaggle accounts, you're going to use your first initial, your first name, your last name, and then the last four digits of your student ID to formulate your username. Notice that it's at cms.gaggle.net. You need that entire thing, not just the first part, but you need the whole thing as a username. Your password involves your date of birth, two-digit year, two-digit month, two-digit day. So you can see, for example, we have mglass1234 at cms.gaggle.net as my username and 150202 as my password. And again, just for uh, name uh, recognition, you can see February 2nd, 2015, 15 for the year, 02 for February, 02 for the date. So let's go ahead and get logged in. So here we are at Google, and we're going to go ahead and get logged in. Up here at the very top, if you're not signed in, and I'm signed in right now, but if you're not signed in, this is where you see that blue login button right here at the top. So we'll click there. And again, you can log in. I'm going to go ahead and click in add an account. So you can see you can add an account. You can remove accounts. I have an account right here using um, the CMS Gaggle information, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm logged in. Again, you can see the full username at CMS dot gaggle.net remember your two digit year your two digit month your two digit day as your password now that we're logged in we have to actually get to google drive and we have our nice little grid here of boxes we're going to click on that and there's google drive now we're ready to create our folders but before we do that we want to talk about naming conventions we want to talk about how we're going to name our folders so let's go ahead and give that to you so now that we're logged in, we're ready to create our digital portfolio. To that, we're going to create some folders. First thing we have to do is label our folders. We're going to create a folder and label it with our first and last name and our graduating year. Don't worry about the year. Don't worry about if it changes. It's easily to change the name at a later date. So we're going to create a folder with your first and last name and your graduating year. Once we have that folder created, we're going to click on that folder and we're going to create a folder for each of your content areas. Math, science, English, social studies, all your subjects go ahead and create a folder. Let me show you how. So once again, we're back here in Google Drive and we're ready to create our digital portfolio. To do that, we first have to create our first folder. So we have our nice big new button over here. We're going to click on that and it's going to give us option. The option that we want is folder. And remember that name and convention. So we're going to use our name, first and last, and then our graduating year. You can see how easy it is to create and also how easy it will be to change. Now that I have that folder, if you want to, we can, you can see it's kind of bland. If you want to add some pizzazz, add some creativity and kind of make your own personalization, I can click on these little dots here and come down and change color and we can give it a color. I'm going to click on the folder. You can see it gave a little yellow folder there. Double click on the folder and now I'm ready to create those folders for each of our content areas. This is going to use the same process. New folder. This one can be for math. New folder. How about science? And so on. So the last thing to show you, although you probably don't want to do it right now. And that is how to put your information into your portfolio. 
So you can come up here and I can click on my drive. We also have my drive over here. But what this does is it takes us back to the root folder. It takes you back to your home part of your Google Drive. Now I don't have a lot in here right now, but remember we colored our portfolio. We gave it our name and convention, first, last, name in a year that we're graduating. And there's two ways that we can put information in there. One way is to click on it and we can drag it up in there. But the problem with that is that if I do that, it does put it into my portfolio, but you see it doesn't put it in anything. So it doesn't actually get us into one of the actual folders. So if I go back and click on something else and come over to our dots and click move to, now I click on it and it's going to ask me where do I want to put it. Well, I want my portfolio and now it's going to show me what the folders have available. And that allows us to move it directly to the proper folder and we're not going to have it sitting outside here. At this point, again, now that you know how to move things around, now that we have created our folders, it's now to start thinking about what belongs in your digital folder. Remember, it's not for everything. It's for the best of the best. It's you showing the world, you showing your teachers, your parents, your friends, your best work, things that you're proud of, things that you can look back on and, again, make connections to what you've learned and build from that and figure out what exactly else you would like to learn. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.